Ah, greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives, whether we want to or not. And remember, my friend, these future events will affect you. The future is in your hands. So let us remember the past, honor the present, and be amused at the future. I predict that politics will make stranger bedfellows than ever before. I fearlessly predict that the once politically inactive South will rise again in no uncertain terms. I predict that every vote south of the Mason-Dixon line could easily be conservative. I predict there will be two political parties in America. One will be the conservative party and the other will be the liberal party. There will be a clean-cut division which no one could conscientiously cross over. This startling trend will become most apparent before the next election and you will join heartily in this stand whether you want to or not. Now, don't say you won't, because I predict you will. I predict fashions for both men and women will be exactly alike in the new unisex trend. The new tunics, which will soon be worn, have no difference except in size. Men are growing smaller in stature, and the women are growing larger in stature, and there will only be three sizes, large, medium, and small, to the new tunic you will soon wear. I predict there will be body stockings for those who would feel shy or modest. Those who wish to wear nothing naturally will be free to do so. I predict the day of severity and dress will soon be at hand, almost puritanical in style, with no beads, no jangles, no bracelets. Men and women will wear exactly the same makeup, the same style of hairdress, and if required, the same type of wig. I was not allowed to say on television, radio, or have it appear in my column as the advertisers would clomp down on me and clomp very heavily. I further predict the new age of nudity, for the human body will be glorified. Body design, self-painted, will take up most of your spare time. Women will decorate their breasts with startling colors while men will decorate their genitals. Those who are politically orinated will always print body slogans on themselves, and this will take place of the present-day bumper stickers. Subdued colors will be used in the cloth, but riotous colors will be painted on your body. I predict that the entertainment personalities of the future will be entertainment personalities and nothing else. When someone pays admission to hear a singer or a comedian, they will not tolerate protest messages. They will demand and receive 100% entertainment, as this is the only thing that television or the radio sponsor will tolerate. Too many items are now off the shelves due to a subconscious boycott of that item by the viewer who rejected the program on which this item was advertised. I predict entertainment will be entertainment and entertainment alone. I predict that in our tomorrow, the little women will reign supreme. I predict that it will be impossible for a man to divorce a woman, for she must divorce him. I predict there will not be the present marriage status, but it will be a marriage contract by which the man must abide, and if a man walks away, from supporting his wife or children, it will be a compounded felony in the eyes of justice. I predict that both a religious and a civil ceremony will be required of all marriages. I predict in the future it will be very possible for a woman to sell her husband to another woman both legally and morally. I predict man will truly be the slave of woman. You women now control 93% of the wealth and spend 87 cents out of every dollar. So what are we poor men to do? Personally, I welcome it because we men have made such a mess of things. You women must naturally come to our rescue and do better.